The Tigers make three changes. Tufan and Abdush Amur are back in. They're not the surprising ones. Sean McLaughlin drops out of the starting 11, and we expect an alteration in defence, which sees either Coyle slot into centre-back, with Slater going to right-back, or Tyler Morton dropping in as a centre-half to partner Alfie Jones. Allsop remains in goal. Then it's Giles, Morton, Jones, Coyle or Slater. Four of them will play. Seri keeps his position in midfield. Then it's Tufan, Amur, Philogene and Cavallio expected to play up front. So Noah Ohio drops out as well tonight. The bench for the Tigers is Christie, Connolly, Jacob, McLaughlin, Ohio, Pandor, Sharp, Triore and Anna Zarore. Now Philogene, Philogene looking to have a run at Byram. Byram holds his ground, wins the ball back as Jorginho in a central midfield position, scampers away from Philogene and Cavallio, then Morton as well, Jorginho Ruta playing now to Somerville in the area, this is dangerous, Somerville, it's palmed by Alsop, but then touched in by Byram, but Josh Smith, I thought for a minute there, was going to possibly give a free kick Hull City's way, but Leeds United have gone in front, Sam Byram, back post, Nine minutes in. Leeds United are doing their, what they need to do so far because they will go second in the table with a win tonight. Ipswich 87 points. They're on the move here. Clever through ball into the area. They've opened up the defence. Bamford, he's put it over. He's put it over from about four yards. The goal was beckoning for him. He looks down at the floor, looks for evidence of how he's been able to accomplish such a feat. No question that he was onside, into the area, Bamford somehow has screwed the ball up into the air. Slater now for Seri, no pressure from Leeds, which is why the Leeds fans are having a bit of a groan. Seri now for two fans, 20 yards out, left to Philogene, he's into the box, wants to skin his man, cuts back inside, his shot is blocked. Morton picks up the pieces, 20 yards out, rides out a couple of challenges, sets a low ball into the area, and Cavalli has touched it in! Hull City are back level, they have taken advantage of Leeds United's momentary sloppiness, and Hull City capitalised like a good team should 1-1 the scoreline 34 on the clock and again the man for the big occasion is Fabio Carvalho so Slater jogs across to try and block the crossing angle for him Kamara holding on to it to the left of the area will tease it back towards Somerville Amur's in the way, Somerville screening it across towards Dan James, he's going to now cross in from the 18-yard line, Coyle's headed down, falls to Jorginho, Alsop comes sprinting out to get the first shot, plenty of blocks, still danger, Somerville, oh, cleared away, and surely it must go in, it hasn't, another chance this time by Jorginho, and the flag's gone up anyway. Deary me, that was nip and tuck, Ryan Alsop gets the plaudits, Slater again, taking as much time as he can. There's a few fans getting restless, feeling that the Tigers are time-wasting. It bounced over the head of Ampadu, and then his touch inside has only found Cavalier to Philogene. 20 yards out now, Philogene on the right foot, shot! Oh, wide of goal! Bounced past the far post. And Philogene just looks at the ground, and drinks in the fact that it's missed. But Hull City are on the move. Matty Jacob, big sliding tackle comes in. And Morton, there's space opening up here for the Tigers. Morton to Amur. There's an angle to shoot. Oh, wide. Wide from inside the area by Amur. Morton nearly had a pair of assists. Amur feels he should do better. That is so close. Amur nearly had his first Hull City goal. And what an occasion it would have been to do it. Plays towards Coyle, overlapping him. Ball comes in. Carvalho tried to bring it in. Runs past him, Philogene out of the area. He's going to have a shot at goal, it's piercing, it's over the crossbar. Philogene is in the mood for something special tonight. He's had two good chances and Barfa inches away. And Somerville left wing with the runner of Firpo. Hull City stretched here, Firpo into the area, drives it towards the six-yard box, it's hit the post. How close can Leeds United get tonight? A low ball played in, flicked and onto the post. Here's Perot, down for Somerville, down the line towards Leeds United's fresh white shirt of number seven. Somerville now, 
Slater trying to go with him, Somerville just too quick for him, Slater has committed a foul, it's a penalty. Why, why did he do that? He's bumped his man at the byline, it felt like Somerville was going nowhere. Was the ball about to run out of play? Slater has been drawn into a foul. Ryan also up in the net and Somerville right footed won the penalty for Leeds United scores the penalty for Leeds United and Ellen Road goes absolutely nuts Somerville who feels like he's been a bit of a part player tonight in comparison to Watford took the penalty off Perot and has dispatched it also up in there Philogene waiting on the edges, Seri waiting on the edges, Slater the furthest man back to hoover up any headers that go out of the area. In comes the corner, high and hanging, Jones tries to get onto it, it's out of the box, Amodo gathers, Seri lifts it back towards the area, not dealt with by Leeds, Jacob tries to get a header to it. One then by Zaruri, Zaruri has the shot easily blocked. Fought for a minute then Hull City were about to have the moment in the Evening, Leeds United down the other end, Allsop is out of his area and Leeds United have scored from a mile out to wrap it up at Ellen Road. Dan James who did it for Fulham in similar circumstances when the keeper was forward has scored an absolute beauty to seal Hull City's fate. All smiles and celebrations for those in white and Hull City have to bite the bitter pill of defeat again.